instant up air are not exactly the same. It, they both have a lot of hits done, and that plays a really big role when you're on a stage like Battlefield. Yeah, my point being is that they lead into each other well. Or lead into itself, I mean. Yeah, and that up air, uh, instant up air, that is, racks up a lot of percent. Joking, going for that up air and uh, lifting it though. The move is kind of just like taking an early lead right now. Yeah, this could. No, not the stock yet. If it's it were really a smaller good. stage, maybe. Not really. So I've been doing a lot of percent. Goes for the spike. Oh. That is I true. Respect that, the attempt. That, it Sorry. Can, uh, it can also catch recoveries just like downside. I know if you if you hit it in like certain like weird situations then you can also definitely get like a stage spike with uh just just the activation hit of revenge and nobody expects it so like nobody texts it. Yeah, that's true. These upsets just aren't killing quite yet, but that fair will do the job. Pretty much even game here. Yeah, that's the thing about heavies on battlefield is that well, they're both heavy in Battlefield. Have... One of the it's like out of the legal stages has some of the biggest uh blast. Hmm. Can't talk. Blast zones. This is gonna be harder to kill. Yeah, and honestly, for both of these characters, where uh... actually Incineroar relies on more of a horizontal approach to kill. So I actually wouldn't say that's the case. Yep, just as I say it. But does does Battlefield not have a uh, wider sideways blast zone? I don't think it's that much bigger. It's more of just uh, the vertical blast zones that are the big difference. I see. That being said, uh, Rune did get that that second stock off of the sideways blast zone, so you do have a point there. Yeah, both of these characters seem to thrive off of the same kind of idea. Which is grab other character with my with my command grab and kill. Yeah. <laughs> command grabs are really a uh, crucial part to these characters, because they don't have a lot of safe aerials on the shield. Well at least Bowser doesn't. So just using that can really catch people off guard. Girl King, being light and uh... Wait, why did I say saving his jump? He just ledge jumped and got knocked out or whatever. But yeah. Had a jump, made it back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really close game right now. It is. They're both at kill percent. Okay, that tech, really great, that spike! <laughs> what?! Great tech. Okay. Both of these great players awareness. are on point, yeah. Oh, but I'm missing the tech there. That was way too close for comfort for both of these players. Maroon was living up to 170 before dying, and... Uh, Turtle King was at 140. They could have died at any percent there. That's the glory of heavies. Yeah, you weren't wrong when you said this could be a very exciting set we're about to see. And just like at the end there, that was really good awareness from Turtle King. Just knowing like, whenever you get spiked and you're relatively close to the stage, you should always just DI towards the stage because it you either land on the stage, or you could potentially just tech off of the side of it. Yeah, it's these tiny little details that can cause the entire game to fall into one person's hand. And, uh, yeah, just that stage choice also played a really big role. Having... 
a nice uh, combo potential kind of area to be on. Indeed. Oh, the Rob. Now, I know we have seen the uh, the Turtle King Rob before. It was like a couple Mega Drives back. Actually, like a decent amount of Mega Drives back. <laughs> Probably a matchup preference, but getting right into uh, Town and City, this seems like it would be a better stage for Incineroar saying that besides you could probably kill it like 60 or Yeah, but like, should things go south? Wait, no, never mind. I don't know why I thought Rob was a, was a campy character. But Rob, Rob can look? really actually. <laughs> yeah, he can. Yeah, that probably ate Marin's jump, and Marin just didn't expect it. Yeah, but... <laughs> Messes up the zero to death, but gets 46 nonetheless. 53. This honestly seems like a matchup thing, where Maroon doesn't know how to deal with Rob and all of his shenanigans. That was a really good recovery on Turtle King's part. Yeah, instead of just going for the Nvidia upper, he delayed it a little bit. Bounced around and then went. And Carol King just really using these these platforms up the side to his advantage in terms of like making it back on stage. Because if you have a Bowser with <clears throat> Taking uh, that second stock. If you Oh <laughs> <laughs> Rune answers that with a sock of his own. Gets oh, a nice little combo there, reading the jump. Or he gets 73. Oh, that could have hit. Had I moved of. himself a little bit farther, that could have just equalized the game. Probably Calling for a hard read with the up smash. Yeah. I just have a feeling that Turtle King is panicking right now, just realizing what is going on. Murin is, Murin is losing, right? Yeah, I mean, still technically is 69% on your last stock is isn't exactly a good uh, situation. Also nice. <laughs> but it's Bowser. Bowser just doesn't die until very late percents, unless if you go cheesing. Yeah, that's just the heaviest character in the game status, you know, or privilege, I mean. Yeah, like for every 50% uh, Bowser takes, it's like actually 25%. He just gets half. <laughs> Funny. Also, Turtle King needs to be very careful when he, when he gets uh, sent off stage, because like, these neutral leads coming out from a rune are getting like increasingly like more volatile as the game progresses. Cause he's like adapting to like use them better. That's probably dead, yeah. Yeah, no amount of mashing or not mashing will save you from that. Yeah. That just it didn't seem to be a good spot for Maroon. Being a big a big character and not being able to dodge those grabs. At a high percent, like 170. Yeah. Bowser can live to 170, but past that.